All right, uh, I'm going to try to show you how to do um, question number two from uh, the 2003 Calc AB uh, exam. So the first part, um, it's a calculator question. So the first thing I'm going to do, whoops. First thing I'm going to do is uh, insert a calculator page and define the function that they give me. So they tell me V of T. Um, you want to do control and then the template. Um, control equal or colon equals will define a function for you. So negative the quantity t plus one and multiply. So uh, it's a good idea to put in the multiplication so you don't get uh, an error later on. And then uh, t squared over two. So it says done. Um, and now I can use that via two for instance. Um, and the first question is find the acceleration of the particle at time t equals two. So acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So I'm going to use this template here. Um, derivative with respect to t. Hit the var key, v of t. And then such that control equals, there's such that t equals 2. I'm going to put a decimal so that I get a decimal answer. Um, and I get 1.588. Um, so that would be uh, the acceleration. Now the question is, is the speed increasing? Uh, by the way, there's another way to do that. Um, if you go to menu, calculus, derivative at a point, it's actually a little less work. Variable is t, the value is 2, and I want the first derivative. And then I just punch in v of t. So, uh, whoops. So it's a little less work. Uh, you might actually want to do that. Just I use the computer so much that it's faster. Um, so is the speed increasing? Well, I need to know what v of 2 was. Um, so let me get that. So velocity is negative and acceleration is positive. So the speed is decreasing because they have opposite signs. Um, the next question, find all times t in the open interval um, where the particle changes direction. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll use a graph for that. And I'm gonna graph uh, the velocity. But since this says f of x down here, I have to graph the velocity as a function of x. And I get that crazy thing. A good idea before you graph, actually, is to change the window to the one that they're suggesting. So uh, they want to know between 0 and 3. So let me change it so that that happens. And you get a much more reasonable graph. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to find the zeros. So menu, 6, and then 0. Um, you can actually just type it in. So let's type in, uh, well, there's actually one at 0. So uh, I don't know, type in 1. And then three it shows me that the only zero is actually here, 2.507, let's say. Um, and that's actually the only time that the particle changes direction because it's the only place where velocity changes sign. Um, so that would be my answer. Um, the next thing I want to do is the total distance traveled. So I'm actually going to store this value even though I don't know if I need it. That's you click on it, press control, and then the var key, and then I'm going to store it as A because it's the first thing I'm storing. So let me see here. Insert a calculator page. So I want total distance traveled, um, and that I know is the integral from 0 to 3 of the absolute value. So that's a template in the second row in the first column of V of T. with respect to t, and there you go, 4.334 would be the total distance traveled. Um, and that's really all the work I would do. What's the greatest distance between the particle and the origin? Show your work. Okay, so um, let me insert another calculator page. And uh, so this is a uh, candidate's test type of problem. So the greatest distance is either at 0, at 3, which are the endpoints, or at that critical point that we found where it turns. Um, so what I'm going to do is find each of those distances. I know that at 0, um, the current location is 1. So 1 plus the integral from uh, well 0 to 0, which is uh, there's really no point in doing that. It's just going to give me 1. Um, 1 plus the integral from 0 to a, um, which is that. and 0 to 3, 
Okay, so the distance from the origin would be the absolute value of these. So the greatest distance that it achieves is 2.265. Um, and that's how I would do this entire problem. So uh, that's pretty much my work also. Um, and I hope you find this helpful. Good luck.